The most beautiful tourist places in Tangier, the Moroccan city of Tangier is one of the most beautiful tourist cities in Morocco, which you can visit to see the most beautiful tourist places there. Tourist travel introduces you to the most beautiful tourist places in Tangier that you can visit. The Kasbah is one of the most wonderful tourist places in Tangiers, Morocco, located on the banks of Wadi El Haq. The city has a wonderful view of the sea next to the Atlantic shore near the Strait of Gibraltar, and it is one of the wonderful tourist places that you should not miss and enjoy. Cave of Hercules Hercules Cave is one of the most beautiful tourist attractions in the Moroccan city of Tangier. It is a very large cave that extends up to 30 kilometers inside a mountain. Many visitors and tourists come to visit the place on a daily basis to learn about the cave from the inside and understand the stories and legends related to it. Above this cave there is a very excellent cafe and next to it is a group of cafes that you can sit and enjoy and watch the most beautiful landscapes in the place while capturing the this church is one of the most beautiful tourist places in Tangier. It was built in a very distinct architectural style. It is one of the most lively mixtures of diverse civilizations. It is one of the most famous churches in the world. The church contains a group of towers built over the silos of various mosques and has a large and wonderful group of sculptures and decorations. Beautiful place that you can enjoy watching. The Edge Cafe This cafe is one of the famous tourist places in Tangier, Morocco, and it is a place where celebrities of different groups and tourists come from anywhere in the world. This cafe was established in the early 20th century AD on a beautiful plateau overlooking the Strait of Gibraltar and is therefore a wonderful and enjoyable destination to have a cup of tea or coffee while enjoying the beauty of the landscape there. Ville Nouvelle City The city of Ville Nouvelle is one of the wonderful and beautiful tourist cities in Tangier. It was established in the late 19th century AD, and this new city contains a group of beautiful architectural buildings that were built in the latest style. You can head to the port in the city, which has a charming view of the Atlantic Ocean, and many artists and celebrities come to visit it. The city also has a very wonderful square where residents and tourists come from various places to stroll and enjoy sitting in one of the cafes there. Tangier Beach is one of the very beautiful tourist places in Tangier, which is one of the tourist attractions for tourists. This beach has been classified as one of the most important beaches in the world. This beach is a very suitable place for a Fun summer vacation, where you can do many recreational activities there, most notably sitting and enjoying the sea view, playing football, and other fun water activities. Spartlehead Lighthouse This lighthouse is one of the wonderful tourist places that you can visit in Tangiers, Morocco. It is intended for tourists on an ongoing basis to enjoy watching the Atlantic Ocean and its beauty, especially during sunset, and you can take a group of the most wonderful memorial photos there. Asala Town The town of Asala is one of the most beautiful tourist attractions near Tangier, specifically in the northwestern part of the Atlantic Ocean. It has existed since the days of the Roman era. This town has a wonderful group of colorful buildings, all in blue and white, which gives the town a unified and wonderful view. The seafood that you can eat even while you are sitting on the sea wonderful and most beautiful souvenir photos that you can ever take. You can visit the cave on a daily basis from 9 in the morning until 8 in the evening. Tangier is one of the cities in northern Morocco, with a population of about 700,000 people according to the 2008 census. It is located on the northern coast of Africa at the western entrance to the Strait of Gibraltar, where the Mediterranean meets the Atlantic Ocean. It is the capital of Tangier Tetwin. The oral legend circulating among the people in the city of Tangier says that after the Flood Noah's Ark lost its way while looking for land, and one day a dove landed on the Ark with some mud in its legs. Hence, the area was called Tangier. As for the Greek myth, it says that Anti was the son of Poseidon and Gaia, and he was attacking travelers and killing them, and he made of their skulls a temple that he gave to his father, and he named his kingdom the name of his wife. Tangier, by breaking the Ta and the silence of the N, and it extended from Suda to Lixus the city of golden apples near Larach. In a strong battle between Hercules and Anti the history of Tangier goes back to the Phoenician era, then the Romans, the Portuguese, the Arabs and the Spaniards followed it. It played an important role in history, especially in the field of trade, as it was a center for shipping goods between the Arabs and the Portuguese since 1471 AD. The European powers competing for Morocco became aware of the importance of this city, and its importance returned during the reign of Prince Charles II in England 
and it gained great fame and witnessed an important prosperity during the reign of Princess Catherine of Braganza, and then it became just a dock for ships, after it took a place to house pirates, especially in 1684. Then this city began to regain its importance little by little, and began to expand, as it occupies an area estimated at 140 square kilometers, and with its territory, the area becomes about 373 square kilometers, after the city and its territory formed an indivisible unit, Hercules was able to defeat after a period of hibernation, Tangier regained its vitality. With the launch of the Islamic invasions of Andalusia by Tariq bin Ziyad in 711, and then by the Almoravids and the Almohads who made Tangier a stronghold to organize their armies and campaigns. After that, Tangiers were subjected to periods of Spanish, Portuguese, and English conquest since 1471 to 1684, which left their imprints present in the old city, such as walls, towers and churches. But, the most important cultural and urban phase in Tangier's medieval and modern history remains the period of the Alai Sultans, especially Muli Ismail and Sidi after its retrieval from the hand of the English invasion in 1684 during the reign of Muli Ismail. Tangier regained its military, diplomatic, and commercial role as a gateway to the Mediterranean countries, and thus knew a huge urban influx, so walls, forts, and doors were built. Religious and social life flourished. Mosques, palaces, fountains, baths, and markets were built, churches, consulates and large homes for foreign residents were built. Tangier became a diplomatic capital with ten consulates in 1830 and an international city where merchants and adventurers flocked from all over as a result of the tax privileges it enjoyed Muhammad bin Abdullah. Him, and Tangier is located on a small bay on the shore of the Atlantic Ocean, at the southwestern end of the Strait of Gibraltar separating Africa and Europe, and this made it a port and a small sea window on this strait. Tangiers by the railway coming to it from the city of Fez from the south. Tangiers today is a commercial, agricultural, cultural and industrial city. It has an important and free commercial port since 1962 AD, and it has many factories, institutes, tourist facilities and parks. In the past, it was one of the most important cities, described by IBN Hockel, who said, it is an eternal city whose traces are visible. Its construction is made of stones, standing on the sea, and it is inhabited by a mile from the sea. Its sources, based on the truth, and it is fertile, and between Tangiers and Suda is one day, and its work was the journey of a month in the same period, and it is the last African border, and between it and Carowan there are 2,000 miles it extends over a length of 2,200 m, encircling the five neighborhoods of the ancient city, the Kasbah, Dar Alburud, Jinan Kabtan, Wadi A. Herdan, and Bani Idar. The city walls were built in several stages, which are very likely built on top of the Roman city walls Tingis. The current walls are dated to the Portuguese period, 1471 to 1661 AD, but they knew several restoration, rebuilding, and fortification works during the English period, 1661 to 1684, then the period of the Aoi sultans who added several fortifications in the 18th century AD, where they supported the walls with a set of towers, Ostrich Tower, Amer Tower, Dar al-Dabak Tower and al-Salam Tower. They also opened 13 gates, including, Bab al-Kasbah, Bab Martian, Bab Haha, Bab al-Bar, Bab al-Assa, Bab al-Raha and Bab al-Marsa. Kasbah Gilan, it is located on the right bank of Wadi al-Halak, on the road leading to Malabada, east of the ancient city. It was built around 1664 AD, and its name is associated with the name of al qadr Galen, the leader of the Islamic Jihad movement against the English colonialism who occupied the city of Tangier between 1662 AD and 1684 AD. The castle has a tight defensive system, consisting of two quadrangular walls fortified with two semicircular and prominent towers, in the middle of which is a huge urban door. The Kasbah Palace, or Dar al Maxin, this building occupies a strategic position on the eastern side of the Kasbah. It is very likely that it was used during other periods of ancient history. The Kasbah Palace or the Palace of Sultan Muli Ismail was built in the 18th century AD, by Pasha Ali Ahmed al-Rifai, on the ruins of the English fortress Upper Kastel. It contains a set of basic facilities, the big house, the house of money, the mosque, the shura, the prisons, the goat's house and the riyadh. In 1938, 
The building was turned into an ethnographic and archaeological museum for Tangiers and its region. The Great Mosque, close to the interior market is the Great Mosque. It was converted into a church during the Portuguese colonial period, after its restoration in 1684 AD. It was known for several restoration and expansion works during the Alai period. This parameter is distinguished by its splendor and the richness of its decorations, as all the arts of decoration were used in it, such as mosaic, glaze, dyeing, engraving, carving and writing on wood and gypsum. The Great Mosque contains a prayer house consisting of three galleries parallel to the Qibla wall and a courtyard surrounded on each side by two porticos. Thus, it is considered a model for the Alaut mosques known for their simplicity. al jadida Mosque, it is also known as the Isawa Mosque and sometimes as the Palm Mosque. It is located in front of the al Zawaya al Isawaya on the al Shurafa Street. The mosque is distinguished by its minaret with mosaic decorations. Kasbah Mosque, it is located in the street of Ben. Abo, it was built in the 18th century AD by Pasha Ali Ahmed al Rifai, the American Embassy. This building is considered the first institution that became owned by the United States outside America, after it was gifted to it by Sultan Muli Suleiman I in 1821 AD. After it was used as an American embassy in Morocco for 135 years, it was vacated for a period until the year 1976 AD, when it became a museum of contemporary art. The building contains a central courtyard reminiscent of the Spanish Moorish architecture surrounded by a group of halls dedicated to displaying a group of paintings completed in Morocco during the 18th and 19th centuries AD. It also has a general locker for English books, a locker specialized in the history of the Maghreb, and other rooms for study and research, in addition to being a suitable space to host a range of cultural and musical activities in the city. The Spanish Church, after the building spent a period in the ownership of two Jewish families during the 18th century AD. It was bought by Sultan Muhammad bin Abdullah around 1760 AD. It was donated to the Swedish government to establish its first consulate in 1788 AD. In 1871 AD, the Spanish ruler took advantage of it to make it a residence for the Catholic mission, so he built a large church in it which he called La Purishima on the Lady Mary, the Mother of Christ. But about 30 years ago, and because Christians no longer frequented the church much, the institution became concerned with various social activities. Currently, only the top of the main staircase remains of the building. This museum was newly built in 1990. The wing dedicated to permanent display is 276 square meters distributed over a foyer and five halls, in addition to a garden designed in the British engineering style. The museum building is considered one of the unique urban landmarks in Tangiers. It was built in 1898 in the British engineering style to respond to the requirements of the protocol, given that the building was the seat of the British Consul General in Morocco. It was necessary to combine durability, elegance and aesthetic design and engineering, and the display area is about 270 m at a height of 5 meters, its ceiling of wood covered with a false ceiling of engraved plaster covered with tiles of green wood. The museum includes an important collection of the works of Moroccan plastic artists and gives a panorama of the contemporary plastic movement in Morocco and keeps pace with the progress it has made, starting with the works of the pioneers of the first generation who crossed the path to the emergence of Moroccan plastic art in the conflict, one of his sword strikes split the Bogaz Strait between Europe and Morocco and the caves famous for his name, then he married Auntie's wife, who bore him Safox, who established the colony.